Hi guys, welcome to Creative Glam. Today we're gonna to do something a little different. You guys are gonna come with me to Pier 1. Then after that, we'll come back and I'm gonna make my famous three bean chili, which is perfect for a day like today. It's cold and wet, a little gloomy outside. This is the perfect quick and hearty meal for a day like today. Let's go. Okay, let's get started here. I tell you, trying to drive with one hand, I need a phone mount. This is my first attempt at vlogging. Vlogging while driving. I've, I've never done this before. I'm excited. Um, I don't really know what to talk about. I've been watching YouTube videos since 2010. And it wasn't something that I ever thought about doing, not until like maybe 2011. I'm also a realtor. And when I started using YouTube to um, show some of the homes that I had listed, I then started wanting to do a channel, so like about 2011. I started using it, but I started using it for real estate. It wasn't until a little after that that I started wanting to do my own channel. Um, never had the nerves to do it. You know, I have, I have my favorite YouTubers that I've been watching for a long time, um, and I enjoy it. I watch more YouTube than I do, I do television. And um, finally decided in 2016 to go ahead and start my channel. I saw the birth of Creative Glam in 2016. <laughs> I enjoyed both. I enjoyed real estate. Real estate was my lifelong career, which I enjoyed tremendously. And um, interior, interior makeovers and DIY projects, uh, life and style, all those kind of things has always been something that I've been interested in, always. So what better way than to bring the two things that I love together, real estate and DIY interior makeovers. I just thought that, that was just, it made so much sense. <laughs> it just makes so much sense. I'm super warm and I'm a, I'm a realtor by day. I'm a vlogger by night. <laughs> I enjoy them both tremendously. I, I have to say my, I, I'm very, I feel very fulfilled. Um, it took me a long time to decide to do this vlogging thing because I just, I don't know, I, it, it just Come something on. that made me nervous. And I think when I finish, I'm probably going to go down to Trader Joe's. You know, I am looking for um, napkin ring holders in particular, and a candle, and then of course I want a brow. Okay. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Thank you.
And now we'll go over to Trader Joe's and get some black beans for the three bean chili. cook a little chili my famous three bean chili for uh it's quick it's hearty and it tastes fantastic so i thought since we were shopping together why not cook together <laughs> it's not a hard dish to make it's not a hard dish to make at all it's really quite easy and it tastes fantastic once you make it you can do a chili uh, you could do a taco salad like a chili taco salad. You can also do the traditional, what, what traditional in our house is uh, chili and cornbread. A little dollop of sour cream. Um, you can put it over some tortilla chips with some um, salsa. Um, you can do some lettuce and cheese with that as well. I am originally, I live on the East Coast, but I'm originally from the Southwest. So chilies, tacos, those kind of things, I like that stuff. Mm -hmm. Looks like it was still a little frozen in the middle. But that's okay, we can work with that. We can work with that. And a little salt. And a little pepper. I have a recipe written down, but I don't, you know, it's just for others. <laughs> It's not really something that I'm gonna put aside. It's not something that I use. I make it so often. I don't need a recipe, and I don't need to measure. 
this is paprika that was garlic powder and I take and put a little uh, a little crushed uh, red peppers in it you put as much heat as you like I like it a little spicy I don't like it too spicy um, a little chili seasoning I'm probably gonna add a little more of that and then this is uh, cumin I like cumin in my chili kind of gives it that smoky uh, that smoky thing going on in the background You can do a white chili with white beans and uh, ground turkey. That tastes just as good. That's just as good. But I'm doing a traditional three beans with uh, chili with ground beans. I chopped uh, some garlic earlier and put it in there. And then I'll add some onion. That one big hunk when it's not defrosted all the way <laughs> so you kind of got to keep turning it I love chili it's one of my favorite um, winter meal technically it's not winter yet but you know close enough it's that time of year when you make your stews and your um, chili party meal but you can refrigerate and this chili here can go into the uh, refrigerator and tomorrow it's gonna be even that much better and I just ground the ground beef. Like I said, I added garlic, onions, cumin, paprika, chili powder, and salt and pepper. Okay, the ground beef is pretty much ground. I got a few little pink pieces in there, but nothing major. And uh, we went to Trader Joe's, my dog, we went to Trader Joe's earlier and got, um, Some chili beans, some dark red kidney beans, black beans. I like the tri colored beans. Add some more seasoning. Uh, compensate for all the beans we just put in. So we just went from and it's um, pretty much ready. Well, I mean, I've got all the ingredients in there, and now it's just gonna simmer. It's gonna need to simmer for about an hour. And then I'll test the seasonings. Oh, let me add the rest of my onions. Uh, we'll let that simmer, as I said, for about an hour, and then we'll come back and we'll plate us some chili and it's dinner time. <laughs> the chili is done. That looks good. Mmm, my famous three bean chili corn muffins. A quick and hearty meal for when it's cold outside, or any time of day for that matter. Dinner's ready and I'm ready to eat. Thanks so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy shopping and cooking with me today. I sure did. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the button below to subscribe. We have new videos weekly. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. See you next time. Bye.